night, new information after an ongoing dispute between neighbors boiled over in Port St. Lucie, leaving three people dead, including a young girl. And we learned just a short time ago, we confirmed the young girl killed in that attack was just 11 years old. WPTV News Channel 5's Ryan Hughes is back on the scene with new details just released by police. Investigators have remained on this scene all day long. Behind me, you can see that both homes remained roped off and detectives have been going in and out for hours now. Tonight, we are learning more about the ongoing feud over a dog between the neighbors and just how heated these arguments were. More than 24 hours after a deadly shooting and standoff on this quiet street in Port St. Lucie, crime scene tape is still blocking off these two homes as animal control could be seen removing an animal in a cage from the victim's home. Seeing guys running in, da, 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 it's... Man, I, you could have swore that there was two armies fighting in there with as many gunfires as went off. You can see the bullet holes in the windows. This is where police say the gunman went into the home right next door on Southeast Morningside Boulevard Monday afternoon and shot his neighbor and a young girl. It didn't have to come to this. You know, seeing them pull the lifeless body of the little girl out, you know, it's, it hit a little close to home to me. Investigators say they found the man dead in the garage and the girl died at the hospital. A Port St. Lucie officer was also shot in the arm as the gunman opened fire on police. Contractors working at the school across the street say they heard the shots, then saw the gunman's wife. He come walking out across the road and uh, said her husband just woke up. She says, I hope he didn't do something stupid. Police tell us there has been an ongoing dispute for months between the neighbors over the gunman's dog, a bull mastiff. Since we've been here, those two have been fighting the neighbors on and off. WPTV obtained this dangerous dog citation from Port St. Lucie Animal Control, and the owner paid a fine just last week for failure to safely confine the dog in a fence. Things got nasty. They're both shoveling feces over the fence line at each other and we're just sitting right there during lunch watching it all. And that gunman was found dead inside the neighbor's home, but tonight it still remains unclear exactly how he died. We are awaiting an update from Port St. Lucie Police with more details. In Port St. Lucie, Ryan Hughes, WPTV News Channel 5.